Hi everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, we are going to unbox this Thread Up Jewelry Rescue Box. There are up to 24 pieces in this box. The cost is $40, but I had a $10 credit, so it cost me $30, and I got a free shipping promo code. So I got this box of 24 pieces shipped free for $30. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Let's get started opening this up. So it looks like we have several boxes here. Each box must have a few goodies in them. So I'm going to move this off camera and let's pull the first box over. All right, right away I see we have paparazzi. I am going to move this camera down closer. And let's just see what they have in this box. Paparazzi earrings, they look to be some sort of nut. Okay. And there is another paparazzi bag here. A small pair of faux pearl earrings. I believe all of paparazzi's items retail for five dollars each. All right, here's another pair of earrings. Those are actually kind of cute, like a starburst, clear rhinestone, silver tone, with studs. I don't see a name on these. These are very cute, though. Next pair, and this is what the box looks like. So they have several things inside the box. All right, this is another pair of earrings. Some hoop dangles with blue rhinestones. I will check to make sure all the rhinestones are there. Okay, and the second earring. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. Another pair of earrings coming out. All right, these are cute. These are dangles. These are mother of pearl teardrops with a clear plastic, looks like plastic crystals. Not a bad look pair of earrings though. They're cute actually. Tiny pair of posts inside of here. Take these out. These are very little. I'm gonna check to see if maybe they they could be sterling, but here's what these look like. And I'm gonna put these down. And looks like they're not. They're just tiny little mixed metal there sticking to the magnet. All right. Here's a set of bangles. They're actually pretty. Looks like one is like a brown and black. I think they're plastic. All right. Oh, here's another pair of earrings. Those are cute. These are pearls and crystals. They may be faux pearls. And the crystals are black. Those are pretty. And they are not precious metal. Here's a stretch bracelet. Green stone. I believe they're plastic. That's pretty. 
I think I'll wear that for the rest of the video. Next, it looks like a necklace. Let's take a look. This looks to be, I believe that's a 925 on there. Let's pull it back out. I'm going to put the magnet next to it and see if it sticks. That's a sterling silver everything, except for the spring clasp and the lobster clasp. That's why that's sticking. So I can clean that up. It, it looks like it just needs to be polished. I'm happy with that. Very nice, actually. So that's a winning piece there. And lastly, there's a ring. I believe that's a snake on there. Yeah, it's a little snake. You little snake. <laughs> um, it's possible with sterling, but let's put the magnet on there and see what happens. Yeah, it's possibly sterling. I will test that. And remember, I paid, it's a $40 thread up rescue box they promise you 24 up to 24 pieces and I got free shipping so that's not bad so far we have one two oops let's go to it like this one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11. So, so far I have 11 pieces. So those are back in the box. Now I'm gonna open the next box. There's four boxes left. Okay, after this box, there'll be three boxes left. So I'll put this on the side and let's open this up. So, so far I'm pleased. These are just three lightweight bracelets, very lightweight, I will say. Little bangles, they have texture. Okay. The next item is another stretchy bracelet, similar to the one I have on because it's plastic. I'll just keep that on. And let's see what else. There's only one more thing in this box. Wow, this is pretty. Look at this necklace, the pendant on this necklace. They're really pretty iridescent crystals on there. I'm not sure if it's sterling or any kind of precious metal. And this is kind of tangled in there. I have to work with that and get that out. Let's see what happens. It's not sticking to the pendant. It is, well, it's sticking to the spring clasp, but not sticking to the chain. So I have to look into that further and maybe inspect this a little closer. Looks like, is that some, no, that's the chain stuck in there. At first I thought it could be the logo, but it's the chain. I like that. Get my fingernail polish off my finger there. So we'll put those back in the box there, the bracelets, the pendant, and then the other bracelet that I'm wearing. So that's three more added to the 11 I think we said we got in the first box. That's 14 so far. Put that aside, go in the box for the next box. Let's open this up. Ouch, careful, careful Barbara. All right. And while I'm digging through this, I forgot to mention if you are interested in a thread up box, you want to try one of these, I will include a code down in the description box so you can use it. You will get $10 off your box. It doesn't have to be jewelry. It can just be any kind of uh, thread up purchase. And I will also get a $10 credit. 
Um, this is not a sponsored video, but why not use a promo code that gets you 10 bucks off? That's how I think I started on, on these things. This is a very pretty necklace. Graduated beads. It might be, they might be real pearls. That clasp looks very nice. Let me show you up close and then I'm going to put the magnet on it. Oops, sorry about that. Let's do this. Show you closer. That clasp looks very nice. Don't know if it's silver, but we will put the magnet on there. Let's open it up. Sometimes you can find a jewelry stamp. Sometimes you can find a jewelry stamp if you look closely on there, but I don't see one. And let's, okay. Looks like it's sticking to the magnet, so the clasp is not sterling silver. It's a very pretty necklace. I like that. I'm happy with that. Let's see what's in the next bag. Looks to be another necklace. This is pretty. These are pinkish blush pearls, I'd say, or faux pearls. On, uh, oh, there are two chains here. One has the pearls on it and the other has rhinestones on it. So let's see if I can get a good shot of this for you. Those are pretty. Let's see, is there a jewelry stamp anywhere? I don't see one. This is a pretty necklace though, I like it a lot. Very happy with that. Looks like more bangles. These feel a little bit heavier, they're textured. So one is brass tone and one is silver tone. And they just look like fashion jewelry, but they're attractive. All right. Well, this is unusual. Check out the pendant on this necklace. It's a cord, like a satin or silk cord. And that's a wild and crazy pendant. It feels plastic. I don't know what to make of this. I'm not sure what, if this is supposed to be just, I don't know. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's got wooden beads and silver beads. So that's obviously just a fashion piece right there. And a couple more things in this box. I'm losing track of the count, but I certainly will give the count at the very end for sure. This has some tangly wanglies on it. Let's pull this back. Actually, I'm gonna pause it because this is tangled. No sense in you having to sit through the tangle or untangle. Be right back. That wasn't too hard to untangle. So this is a three strand necklace with long tubular stations on there, gold tone. Let me show you up close. And it's attractive. There is no name on this, but it's a nice heavy feel. It feels very well made. All right, and one more thing in this particular box. It looks like a bangle. And that's really kind of interesting. Let me see if you can, I can show you. See how it has a wave in it? It's pretty chunky. I'd say it's medium chunky. It has like a brushed gold tone finish. Let me examine it to see if there's a jewelry mark or stamp inside. I don't see one offhand. But that's what that looks like. And I'm actually very happy with it. I think it's pretty. Let's see if I can try it on. This is what it looks like on. So I put everything back in that box, put it aside. I'm gonna dig back into the main box. There are two other brown boxes. Here's one, let's open that. Okay, there's a few things in there, put it aside. And, hmm, this looks like it's a necklace that has some fibers like silk threads. I'm not sure how 
quickly I'm going to be able to undo. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's kind of different. I normally don't like this type of necklace, but this is in pretty good shape and it's actually very different. If you can see, there's little ribbons in there and there's a magnetic clasp, which is very unique. It's pretty good shape. This is pretty, actually. I like this. It's very unique. And I do not see a jewelry mark on there. But let's give you a closer look here. It's not different. So that's the first thing. Looks like this is going to be a necklace. All right. No maker's mark on that. It's like a little mini statement necklace. I like the colors, sort of a spring Easter colors, I think. It's very springy. At least with the statement part, it's cute. The beads are plastic and the chain is gold tone. So that's the other next thing in there. There are two more items in this box. Here's a bracelet. With a tea clasp. These look like glass beads, black with gold and seed beads, of course. I don't think it's precious metal. No, it's not sticking to the magnet. It may be, it looks to be a handmade item. So that's not bad. It's cute. It's different. All right. And looks like a necklace. Ooh, this is pretty. Let's pull back out for you. This is a pretty necklace. These are burgundy crystals, probably glass. Beautiful tea clasp. And let's see, there is a maker's mark on there. Let's see if I can figure out what it says. Ah, it's, oops, I am sorry about that. That's Ralph Lauren. This is a very nice looking necklace. Has gold little beads in between the glass beads. Isn't that pretty? Loving that. Very happy with that. So I put everything back in this box. There were four items here. So far, so good. I'm very happy. I definitely will be able to list some of these in my eBay store. And by the way, my link to my eBay store is also in the description box. And um, I'm very happy so far. And by the way, also, if you see anything that you like, drop me a line. I'll give you my email address here on the screen right now. It's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. That's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Drop me a line. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Maybe we can work something out. Let's open this final box. And there are a few things in there. And again, we'll tally all this up at the very end to see what the quantity I got here. Let's see here. Looks like another bangle. Cute little glitter bangle bracelet, gold tone with silver glitter. And it is a costume piece. It's cute, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's nothing fancy. Let's see what else. Looks like another necklace here. This is pretty. Is it tangled? Okay. It looks like multi-tone. So we have silver tone, gold tone. Uh, we have some crystals and textured gold and silver balls on there and black crystals, iridescent crystals. So I like the neutral colors in this. Multi-strand necklace. And is there a jewelry tag? I do not see one. There is no jewelry tag. But let's give you an idea what this looks like. Like that. I like it. 
I really do like this necklace a lot. And here's what it looks like up close. It's got a nice sparkle to it. Here it looks like another bracelet. Boy, is this pretty. This has got, okay, this is a stretch bracelet. It's got iridescent green crystals on there and little silver beads in between, some spacer beads. Is that pretty? Okay. Let's see, this looks like another necklace. Oh, this looks nice too. I don't see a maker's mark there, but look at this. Let me pull the camera back. Look at that, isn't that neat? So this has little clusters of crystals all along the necklace. It's a hematite tone, dark chain, Rolo chain is what that is. I'll give you a closer look at each section here with the dangle crystals. Isn't that cool? This is pretty, I like this a lot. And I'm going to give you a close up here. That's pretty. Two more items left. This is another bracelet. Let me get it out of the bag and show this to you. This feels like glass and plastic. Another, I'm certain this is handmade the way it looks. I do like the colors. Pretty. And finally, one more bracelet. Oh, that's kind of cute. This looks like, I'm wondering if that means it's new with this thing on it. It's got a tassel here and it's wrapped. Is this um, a, like a Mexican uh, type of ribbon? I think there's a name for that. It's got a, it's gold tone findings. The T clasp, that's unusual. That's different. That's different. This is every single piece that was in this lot. I counted it to be exactly 30 pieces. So 30 bucks, 30 pieces, that's a dollar a piece. I'm pretty happy with this group of jewelry. I especially liked this necklace right here, which is the Ralph Lauren necklace. I will probably list that on eBay. And there's a sterling silver necklace here and a sterling silver ring, gorgeous faux pearl. I mean, I, I just am overall happy with this group of jewelry. I'd love to know what you guys think and let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for spending time with me today with this Thread Up Jewelry Rescue Box unboxing. I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy these types of videos and also thrift store ride-alongs and hauls, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Say bye, Fred. Bye.